What's going on guys, Keston right here, the father of the Lightning Bolt Pack and the Spectra Flux, and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the different light modes, how to identify voltage, and everything that you need to know about these two units that I have in my hands, coming up. Now, for reference, whatever we're going to be covering for either units is exactly the same thing for the other unit. So basically the brains of the Lightning Bolt Pack and the brains of the Flux are exactly the same. So the first model that we have right here in my hand is the Chromium and the other one is the Stealth. Well, the first thing that you're going to realize is that your machine is not going to turn on. Now, don't panic. That doesn't mean that your machine is broken. As a matter of fact, it's actually a safety feature. So what we do is we actually disconnect the battery electronically from the electronics that drive the unit. So if, for example, right now I'm trying to push the on-off buttons, you're going to see that there is no response here. There is no flashing of the lights, meaning that the unit, it's actually in what we call the shipping mode or power down mode. So how do you actually turn on the unit? It's very simple. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna locate the cable that comes with your unit and you're gonna plug it in in a power source. So right over here, I have a dark lab hover power unit. This one has a USB port and a USB-C type A. And how do you wake it up is very simple. Simply just grab the end of the USB-C, plug it in into the unit and watch this light to flash in white color. Now. The unit is already awake, now you can disconnect and your unit is going to be able to perform as intended. So you can see the light turns on, meaning that the unit is already awake. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the flux. We're gonna grab the uh, USB-C end, connect it into the unit and watch the light turn on. Now disconnect, and as you can see, now the unit is operating. Now, why would we wanna disconnect the battery prior shipping it to you? Well, there are several reasons. And reason number one is safety. Once you have a battery really powering components with that unit being unattended, it's actually not safe. And it's recommended that most electronics, when they're actually shipping to the consumer, are completely powered off. So this is one of the reasons we do that. The other reason is to ensure that when the battery arrives to you and you wanna use the unit, you have enough power around 40 to 80% battery capacity, so it allows you to use the unit. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the different light modes. And by light mode, I means every time you get a color light, signify actually a function of the lightning bolt or the flux. So let's actually cycle through all those options. One of the most common questions is how do I check my battery life in the unit? And it is very, very simple. So one of the things that you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the power button like so for just a fraction of a second and you're gonna release. So basically you've seen the light was flashing green, meaning that the battery is between 100% and 60% of capacity. Once the light flashes yellow, that means that it's between 60% and about 35%. Once the light flashes orange, you are between 34% and 15%. And once the light is red, you are below 14% and 0% of battery. Now that is time to start charging your battery. Now, don't panic. The unit is going to allow you to continue working for another 30 minutes up to to an hour, depending on which parameter you have your machine set at. Now we're gonna be talking about how to tell the exact voltage that you're at at all times. And for this, we also use color coding. Now, as you can see, the unit has about eight different colors and each color represents a voltage. So let's actually take a look at what we have right here. The white represents five volts, the yellow represents the six volts, orange is seven, eight is red, nine is pink, 10 is green, cyan is 11, and blue is actually 12 volts. Now, how do you know when you're in the half parameter? Because remember, this unit from factory, they're set up to increment by 0.5 volt. And it's very simple. So let's turn on the unit and let's see what we have going on right here. Now, right here, I have the unit running at its minimum power, which is five volts. So notice that this unit is running right now at six volts. So how do I know that? It's very simple. The light is actually solid yellow and solid yellow stands for six. Now, once you increment one more time, you're actually going to go into a blinking mode. And that blinking mode is going to represent the half parameter of that voltage. So if we have blinking yellow, you're at 6.5. If you have solid orange, we are at seven. If the orange is blinking, we're at 7.5. And you can understand how it works from here on.
So next, we're gonna be talking about how to enable Bluetooth in this machine or a Lightning Bolt pack. And it is very, very simple. Just like before, we're gonna press on the power button. We're gonna cycle through the white and then the next light is going to be the blue light. Right there, you're gonna release, and as you can see, the light is actually flashing, indicating that it's ready to be discoverable by any other device. For example, your phone, if you download the app and you would like to update your firmware in the unit. So the light is gonna be flashing for a minute. So in, in that minute, you haven't actually paired the unit. You're gonna have to restart the process and turn it into discoverable mode once again. The next mode we're gonna be talking about is how to turn off Bluetooth. And the unit is actually gonna disconnect automatically the moment and you turn off the Bluetooth device, but let's say you actually pair to a hover, but now you wanna pair to the phone instead. You can actually turn off the Bluetooth by simply holding on the power button once again. You're gonna cycle through the white, the blue, and finally the yellow light. You're gonna let your thumb go and you have turned off Bluetooth. And the last mode that we're gonna be talking about today is the hard shutdown mode. And that is going to be a mode that you're gonna use in the event that you wanna charge several lightning bolt packs or set several power bolt packs and you wanna have them at 100%, you don't want the battery to run the system and deplete the battery gradually. Now, by having the unit for a few hours or a day or so, it's not going to kill the battery, but indeed the battery is gonna to have to feed the system in order to take the next input. So for example, turn off the unit or turn on the unit, the unit has to be alive. How we turn that off is very simple. We're gonna hold the button right here and we're gonna cycle through all the lights that we talked before. So white, blue, yellow, and now the red light. Now once you see the red light, let your thumb go and the unit is completely dead. Now if I try to turn on the unit, it's not going to respond. And for reference, I'm gonna repeat exactly the same thing using a lightning bolt pack. So we're gonna hold on the power button, cycle through the white light, cycle through the blue, yellow, and finally red. So now if we try to turn on any of these units, we can realize that they're completely dead. And once again, by simply using a power source like a hover, plug and unplug, and the unit goes back alive, and same with the flux. So how do you actually know when you have to charge your battery? And the answer is very simple. The unit is actually gonna tell you. And let me demonstrate right now with this unit that is about to die. So we have a lightning bolt with a Gorilla Cyan. And right now I'm actually at a 10 volts. Now notice how the red light is flashing in between the color green. That is telling me that I probably have between 30 minutes up to an hour of battery life. Now, that is going to depend based on what type of voltage you're running the machine. You know, the higher you're running the machine, probably the less battery life you're gonna get. Now, the only time that you're gonna have to be careful is when you're running the unit at eight volts or 8.5, because eight is actually represented by the red color. But notice that when the unit is telling you that you need to charge it, the blinking is actually faster than the 8.5. So the other question that a lot of you wanted to know is if you are going to get speed drop or voltage drop as the battery life gets depleted. And the answer is no. You're gonna get the same amount of power whether you're running the unit with a battery at 100% capacity or a battery that's about to die at 1%. So the electronics are gonna control and ensure that you always have the same steady flow of energy. Now, another question that I wanna answer is why we decided to go with color coding. And there is a simple reason why. We had screens and now we have colors. So colors show to be the most effective one to actually remember the setting. You don't have to read a number. You can actually glance at color whether your machine is like that from the corner of your eye or even if you have your machine back completely. These lights are gonna shine through even black barrier film. So you're gonna be able to tell what exact voltage you're running your machine at all times. So should you have any comments, make sure to drop them down below. And as always, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Until then, see you later.